What do you think about my mumu? Should I wear the mumu? What you doing, honey? I'm frustrated. What are you frustrated about? Because last year I wore this dress. I don't even remember having a waist that small. Yeah, but is it actually that small? Don't things stretch? It does stretch, but there's no way I can get into that right now. Last week when Tanya got her breast reduction and lipo, I was also supposed to get lipo. But I backed out of it at the last minute because I was scared and I've been regretting it ever since. I'm disgusted with my body. Why are you getting all upset? I've always been a little overweight. Before my neck surgery, I was okay. After my surgery, I kept on gaining weight. And now when I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I saw Tanya after her surgery and I was like, she was fine. Why did I chicken out? Well, it's not like that window closed. And look, at first I was like cool sculpting, liposuction, tummy tucks, but sucking out my fat and cutting off the skin, that's not really a fix. Because the weight would come right back. Yeah. Over the years, I've tried everything to lose weight. I've tried CrossFit. I've tried Pilates. I've tried goat yoga. I've tried every diet. I really think I exhausted everything I can possibly do. And my only option is to do something bigger. Now I'm like thinking long-term and I really am considering doing the surgery you did. So you're thinking of getting the sleeve? Yeah. Yeah, but I've lost like 100 pounds. You can't lose 100 pounds. You don't have that much weight to lose. I can lose 40 or 50. Do you need to have surgery for that? I'm only four feet tall. That's a lot of weight for a little person. Have you tried some exercise? Maybe that's all you need. I've tried everything. It doesn't matter. I have a weight problem, dude. But I just want you to know, <sighs> the surgery is not like... It's, dude. It's, but it's not like an easy way out. A quick fix? Go f yourself, Todd. We've been married almost four years now, and I've always tried to give Todd my full support, but he hasn't always been there for me. I feel the pressure that if I don't provide a child for you, that you're just not gonna look at me ever like that anymore. If this doesn't work, it's gonna destroy us. I wanna go all the way. First of all, that, that procedure was so painful, and now they're saying that I can go through all these procedures and go through all this pain and nothing happens. And then you're saying, let's go for it? So someone so, told you one little negative thing and all of a sudden it's it's not like one little negative it rained thing. on your You parade. want to just keep going and going. You become verbally abusive? No, I don't. Come on, say the mean words. Grow up, Todd. You don't want to be a married Why? Because I called you out. You don't want a baby. Yeah, why do you baby. show up? It's done. Things will get better between you and Todd. Do you think you'll get a divorce? Yeah, then. Even though we try our hardest to appear happy, lately it's been harder to hide the truth that our marriage is struggling. But now I need to make myself a priority with this weight loss surgery. If you do this, you need to treat the surgery like as if you're going to rehab. Because people think, oh, you took the easy way out. you need to you follow your words too. And you need to get your knee surgery and you need to start working out with me. You can't tell me one thing and then expect me to listen. Wait, you listen? I do listen. I've been trying to talk and you keep interrupting. But you know what I'm saying? You keep telling but you're going to work out and you point, haven't the worked out. The point I'm trying to make about your surgery. You're going to you overtalk to... me. You're going to overtalk me too. Let me know when you're done. Sometimes Todd forgets that his weight loss journey isn't over yet. And for him to sit on his high horse preaching to me like he's the vision of perfect health is bull He doesn't work out, he still eats what he wants, and he's still obese. I thought if anybody would understand what I'm going through, it would be him. But instead, I'm getting chastised. You need to really sit down and think about it. I need you to be like my cheerleader. I will be. I don't need a dictator, I just need a husband.